can live that ninth and ten. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Anjani. Um, the, so that we can um <laughs> help them increase their bottom line uh through um mark do different types of marketing strategies so that they can live that ninety ten bossed up lifestyle. What do I mean by that? That means that you're only marketing because we all got to market, right? You got to tell people what you got the right people, right? Not everybody, but the right people, right? Only market our sale, our businesses and our products and services, our churches. We want to add on to the church to be saved. You know, um, our events, different things, our books, our poetry, and we got to market it. We got to get it out there. If you don't get it out there, people are not going to know and you're not going to be successful at running your business, right? And making money, right? I just said today, that our bank accounts, when it comes to our businesses, right? Our bank accounts reflect how many people we're blessing with what we have. It's not about the money. And you're gonna hear about that tonight. That's our subject tonight. God over money always. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, hallelujah. And all these things that be added onto you, right? So again, 10% of the time marketing your business and 90% of your time, what? Serving God, right? Exactly. Enjoying your family, traveling, you know, just cuddled up with your boo, whatever you want to do, right? And you're making money while you sleep. You got orders coming in while you sleep. You're on vacation. You're making money. That's the name of the game. Most people know my story that's watching us now. Some of y'all knew and don't. Hey, if you've never been on a Boston Bible class, put a number one in the comment box. Put a number one in the comment box and tell us what industry, right, um, and what city and state are you dinging in from? Hallelujah. Give me some hallelujahs out there. Give me some praise Jesus is out there. Because if it wasn't for him, come on, somebody, we wouldn't even be where we at today. We wouldn't even have the, the inclination, right, to want to do better to want to own our own so we can what? Leave a will and not a bill for our families. Leave a legacy that we can actually live right now, right? God don't just want us to be in the kingdom happy and go. He wants us to be happy and peaceful and wealthy right now. Somebody type in the comment box, I want to be healthy and wealthy right now. I want to be healthy and wealthy right now. We manifest it. We manifest stuff in here and boss it up. Everything that I do, every time I come on a video, come on live, it's all about manifestation. And I got testimonies of myself, my family, friends all over the world that said, oh my God, I was on your, your video and I was on your, your live and, and you were manifesting and I wrote down what you said and it happened, right? It happened. Me and my, I manifested a little bit over $3 million for me and my husband. In less than 24 hours, God's not playing. He's not playing with those who believe. You can believe me or not. That's okay. When you see me on my yacht, when you see me in my plane, when you see me blessing people, not trying to brag. It's not about bragging. It ain't about that. I brag on God and what God did, right? So with that said, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm going to ask if all minds are clear is that we bow our heads so we can give honor to God. Father God, I come to you right now in the glorious, glorious name of Jesus. I kind of woke up with a little pain in my chest and, uh, you know, a little weariness, a little tiredness. And my husband had to go to our church and represent. But when he's there, I'm not there. He there. We there. We there. <laughs> Both of us is there. Right. But then I got on my knees and I started praying and I started tearing and I started calling out your name or something about that name. Jesus, can I get a witness? And it started feeling better and able to get up and do the things I need to do. So I thank you right now for allowing me to be one more time in front of your people on your entrepreneurial based Bible class so that under so that your people that are business owners that are believers know exactly how you want us to govern ourselves you want us to set ourselves apart from the world hallelujah glory be to your name and we just thank you for waking us up this morning with a mind made up to do right to live right to do the best that we can we ask special prayer for those who are not saved we ask special prayer for those of us that are dealing with afflictions in our mind and our body and our business and our bank account. We ask you to give us supernatural manifestation tonight. Now we're going to ask you for some things tonight because we're going to learn the importance of putting you over money. We're going to learn the importance of putting you over uh, uh, materialistic things. We're going to learn the importance of putting you over anything, a man, a woman, a, a depression. There is no depression in heaven. There is no sickness in heaven. There is no sickness in 
you and you are not a man that you should lie. You say we walk up right before you. Hallelujah. And you will withhold no good thing from us. Deuteronomy 28 and 13 tells us that you will us to be the head and not the tail. So we're going to be unapologetically billionaires, unapologetically multimillionaires, unapologetically financially free. I don't care if we're 50, 60, 70 or 80. It ain't never too late. I thank you right now. I don't care if we was drug addicts, drug dealers, prostitutes, liars, cheats. It doesn't matter. You bigger than all of that. You know, you have proven yourself over and over again to be a healer, to be a deliverer, to be a miraculous, miraculous omni God. We don't need nothing else but you. And I thank you right now. Come on in tonight. But touch the heart. Let the right people click on this. Even if they're looking at the replay, let them know that they know that they know that you will them to be the head and not to tell. You will them to be the lenders and not the borrowers. You didn't put us on here. You didn't down the cross for our sins for us to be struggling. You didn't down the cross for our sins for us to be broke with poverty mentality. You didn't down the cross for our sins for us to be ailing and, Ill and sick in our bodies and in our minds. The devil is a lie. Say it again and damn them back down to hell. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in them. Your daughter is going to speak tonight. Hallelujah. Angelique, evangelist Angelique, and she is going to give you glory and she's going to give you praise. So speak through her. Use her, Lord. Use her to touch your people. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for breaking strongholds. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for healing sick bodies. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for bringing loved ones back together and healing broken relationships. We, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for giving us success in our businesses, pressed down, shaken together and overflowing, giving us creativity, giving us clients running after us instead of us running after them. We thank you right now, Father God, and we give you all the praise and all the glory. Amen and amen. All right, hallelujah. I felt that. I don't know about y'all, but I felt chains breaking. I felt businesses blowing up. I felt people coming out of depression. I felt people loving themselves more. I felt people all, ooh, hallelujah. I felt it. It's a good Jesus. I felt the stronghold being broken right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. I'm going to actually go walk over here, over there, I believe, where is it at, my food for thought book. I'm going to do a little poem, and then we're going to, I'm just going to quickly, quickly, quickly show my website, just the basics of it before I do that. Five minutes, give me five minutes, just so you know that you're sitting in the seat of somebody with credibility, okay? That's all this is about. I'm not bragging. It's just about credibility, right? You can't listen to everybody. You can't follow everybody. I tell people all the time, if, if, if you could see the inside of somebody's soul, come on now, and you wouldn't switch places with them, you shouldn't be listening to them. If, if somebody trying to tell you what to do and what not to do, and you wouldn't switch bank accounts with them, you don't need to be listening to them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you're around people that stanky, the dang, dang attitude and always fussing and crying and whining, God don't like murmurers. That's why a lot of us are not successful because we, we fail to look at what God has done for us what he's doing for us, what he already did. He don't need to do nothing else. Come on now. And we sit up and we complain and murmur. Oh, I ain't got this. I ain't got that. Hmm. That's why you ain't got it. Instead of giving them glory and saying, thank you for that one loaf of bread and that bread, that milk I got in my refrigerator. Some people ain't got that. Thanking them for that one customer you got today. Somebody ain't get that. Come on now. We have got to show gratitude to Jesus. We got to show gratitude for what he's done for us. And the gate to heaven are just open up. Hallelujah. And I know it. I'm a walking, breathing testimony. I should be here right now. I shouldn't be able to see. I shouldn't be able to talk. I shouldn't be able to walk the things that I did in my past. I should come on now when they crack my chest open and stop my heart and all of this to, to, to move stuff and rebuild stuff and taking veins out of my arms and legs. To, I shouldn't be here right now. But God, so I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him the glory. I'm gonna praise his name. I don't care what nobody say. I'm unapologetically saved. Come on, somebody. I'm unapologetically down with the OGG. Come on, somebody. G O D. I'm down with him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He saved me. He saved me. A wretch like me, he can save you. Don't get it twisted. He wills us. It's his will for us 
to be healthy and successful in every area of our lives. If you broke, you out of the will of God. If you're not running your business the way God wants, you're out of the will of God. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're complaining and murmuring, you're out of the will of God. It's just it's that simple. Once we get back in the will of God, watch we get back to the, the kings and the queens and the wealth and the health that we're supposed to have. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody's heart today. Hold that thought. Hallelujah. Let me share my screen with you and show you why God anointed us to do what we're doing right now with Boss Up Bible Class. Thank you so much, everyone. One minute. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's nothing like belonging to the Most High. It's nothing like it. I tried men, drugs, travel, money, and nobody do me like Jesus. I don't care what nobody say. Come on, <laughs> I done tried it all, right? Awesome. Awesome. All right. So can everybody see my screen? Perfect. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So at Boston Up Attraction Marketing Business Automation, this company was brought out of necessity. It was, it was created out of necessity. It was created out of pain. I laid across beds uh, where, you know, um, um, when we had got kicked out of our home for no reason of our own. And I want to first, I want to give honor to my pastor that's on here now, um, Pastor Lisa Ford. Hallelujah. I hope Bishop may be watching as well. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Evangelist DeVore, for being here and Evangelist Andre for showing up. I thank those that are watching us online. I got to have gratitude. I just got to have so much gratitude again because I shouldn't be here. So the fact that I'm here to be able to bless you people is an honor. And I thank you. I, I thank you. Okay. So we're providing online business owners continuous education because if only 10% of people have the skills. 10% of business owners have the skills to actually market online. And if you don't have a bunch of friends and family running after you with a credit card, like most of us don't, to shop and support you, where are you gonna go? Well, baby, 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 listen, if you didn't know this, you're gonna learn today, right? There's 3.5 billion consumers on social media every single month. And if you have a platform like Boss It Up that's going to hold your hand because of our pain and things we went through, getting kicked out of homes and all kind of people lying on us and drama and sicknesses or whatever. And I kept plugging away. I kept building. I didn't care what the devil was telling me. Take your life. You, you, you'll be better off dead. Your insurance policy will take care of Mike, your husband. You know, and I was just fighting the devil. The devil, you a lie. My life is worth more than that. The devil, you a lie. And I kept building it in the pain. I kept building it in the struggles. I kept building when people told me, don't testify about this. Don't do this. Don't do that. I kept building it anyway. And now we are documented documented multiple six-figure earners in this company. We have blessed over 7,000 business owners all over the world on our way to seven figures. God is a good God. Don't tell me what he can't do when you walk in your gift and you walk in obedience. That's what this is all about. So when you come to Boss It Up, you're going to have an experience not just a, a program or a class or a product or whatever to help you market or whatever. No, you're going to have an experience. We don't forget experiences, right? Right. It's a difference between going to a, a Disney world and having to stand in the long lines and pay all that money and all that, like everybody else in the heat burning up with the kids or whatever, then having VIP service where you're the first one in the line always. You don't have to pay to come through the gates. Come on now, exactly. It's something about having an experience. So with the Boss It Up Entrepreneur Experience, here at Boss It Up Entrepreneur Experience, we are passionate. And when you have a passion, God gives you provision. Understand, passion, God gives you provision, right? About educating you on how to think like a boss, right? A leader that's, produ that's, that's producing, and helping other people become leaders, right? To look like a boss, so you get the respect, you know how to talk, you know how to sit, you know how to do presentations, all of that great stuff. So you can, at the end of the day, have customers running after you and giving you referrals. So what? You can get paid like a boss, multiple six, multiple seven figures. It's not about the money. 
Uh uh. Uh uh. It's about the reflection of how many people you're blessing. We got to boss up our mindset. It's not about the money, it's about the reflection, building a construct of how you are getting what you got out there to bless people. And guess what? The side effect, uh, for lack of a better word, is that you make a lot of money. <laughs> Not a bad side effect, right? There you go. And you're independent. Wealth and free financial free is freedom. It's freedom that you don't have to be robbing Peter to pay Paul. You don't have to be getting in your 60s and 70s and you, and, and you don't have enough money. How it's so sad to me to see people like that. They worked all their life, two, three, four, five jobs, and they sitting up deciding, should I get milk or should I get my medicine? Mm. Should I pay my rent and my mortgage or should I do this? Right? By that time, your house should be paid off. What's wrong with this picture? You understand what I'm saying? We don't, we don't have, we didn't have the right construct in our lives. Most of us growing up, they teach us and taught us and really instilled in us money management, right? Only your own, right? We, we, it wasn't taught to us like this. So majority of us, probably over 90% of us retire if we get to retire from a job. Come on now. We retire and we broke. On a, on, maybe, you know, some of us are a little higher level broke, but we still broke. You understand what I'm saying? I have people in my family in their sixties and I'm not talking about nobody at all because I've done it. Drove in around, drove people around and did things away. I did what I had to do to make it work. I had aunties that's older and in different states or whatever working at Walmart because they they, they pension checks and they social security is not make. Mm, no, 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 the devil is a lie. So we're here to give you an experience and we train you first and foremost how to boss up your spirit, your health, your mindset, your spirit, your health, your mindset, because so a person thinketh, so shall they be. If you can't think it, you can't manifest it. Come on now. If you don't have the capacity to know who you are and whose you are and how you're supposed to be living and, and, and not uh, living paycheck to paycheck or government check to government check or retirement check to retirement check or disability check to disability. Who am I talking to right now? If I'm speaking to your heart, put a number three in the comment box and say, you speaking to me. Put a number three. Don't be scared, okay? Put a number three in the comment box and say, you speaking to me, okay? We're going to manifest. We're going to break change tonight. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready, right? So we boss up your time management. 95 plus, you ain't got to believe me, Google it. 95 plus percent of business owners fail in their first year of having a business because of disorganization. They're disorganized within themselves, first and foremost, stinking thinking, no skills, all that kind of stuff. Poverty mentality, don't even know they got it. My husband said one day that, uh, and it was amazing, brought the house down at our, at our ministry, at our church when he preached it. He said, how can somebody get free if they don't even know they bound? Mm. It's my job. As an entrepreneur elevation coach that's faith-based, spiritual, to, to show you where you are, to show you where you're at so we can get you free, okay? Then they're disorganized within their, pro excuse me, they're, they're, they're the people, places, and things that they deal with. They're toxic, naysayers, drama, taking on other people's mess that you don't even own, all this kind of stuff, right? Letting people get you all out your hookup, get you out of the will of God. Got you cussing and acting a fool? Uh-uh, uh-uh. One of the things I promised God is stress relief. Stress almost took me out. That was one of the number one reasons I had the heart attack. Stress, right? Just, un just ridiculous. That was it for me. I was done with it. If it's not peaceful, don't do it. Listen to me. If you don't listen to nothing else I say on this whole thing, if it's not peaceful, don't. Do it. Don't do be with him. Don't be with her. Don't do the job. Don't go there. Don't if it's not peaceful, don't do it. Don't talk to him on the phone. Don't 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 inbox him on Facebook. Block him. Block him. If it's not peaceful, don't do it. And then they're disorganized within their profit producing activities. So we make sure we make relevant profit producing activities. 
If you're failing to plan, you're planning to fail. I'll say that again. If you're failing to plan, you're planning to fail. So if you don't have a, 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 a comp plan laid out, like, hey, I want to make $10,000 a month. That means I got to sell these many dolls or these men's jewelry or get this many customers or whatever it is. You got to know your plan, right? Because again, if you're failing to plan, you're planning to fail. Right. And then we want to boss up your appearance. We give you do things to help you to be able to look better, feel better, live better. I'm a walking, breathing testimony. Again, I'm not bragging. I'm bragging on God. I'm a walking, breathing testimony. People, somebody was with me the other day and not, and when I was, I had to show my ID for something. And it was like, girl, bye. You ain't almost no 57 years old. I said, honey, you should see my mama. She's 70 something. She looked like she's 50. We black don't crack, first of all, but when you got Jesus, I'm just saying, it's just something about them that have you just glowing and no wrinkles and none of that, right? I don't have on no makeup, but a little line right here and some lip gloss. I ain't got on no foundation or nothing. Come on now. Come on. It's peace. This is peace, right? And this is why I feel so honored and so humbled that God gave me this platform. This entrepreneurial faith-based elevation platform that touches all the pain spots that a business owner has. Not being able to get the right leads, not being able to keep customers, not being able, not being able, not being able. Don't have the money to market because stuff is so expensive. God said when he gave me and my husband this company, we prayed and fast on it for seven days. Woke us up at 2.47 a.m. in the morning and said, you know how to do this, Mike? And you know how to do this, Shantae. You know how to do this, Evangelist Kelly. And you know how to do this, Elder Kelly. You know how to do this, Boss Queen Shantae. And you know how to do this, Boss Queen Mike. Put it all together on one platform. And that's what you're seeing. Boss it up, attraction, marketing, business, automation. So you can leave a will and not a bill by creating a legacy for not just your children, but for your children's children. Because that is a what? Demand from God. That a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Look in your bank account right now. I'll wait. <laughs> you probably already know what it is, right? Exactly. Is that enough to leave to your grandchildren? Is it enough to leave for your children? What you doing then? You're out of the will of God. I, this is not me talking. I'm not here to beat you up. I'm here to boss you up. This is just my anointing. I have to be honest. I cannot sugarcoat. When you're out of the will of God, it just, it is what it is. You've got to do what you need to do to get back in the will of God, okay? So we offer different services, right? We have lending programs. We, me and my husband are literally certified lenders, right? We can get you your money. You got a halfway decent credit score. You've been on, been uh, on your business for a while, got you an EIN number. You got a business bank account. Come holler at us. We got you. Okay, and if not, we'll show you how to be able to qualify for the money, right? So we partner with 240 lenders that are very forgiving, very forgiving. People get approved every day, okay, that they never thought they could get approved. There you go. Now we actually are, are developing our own um, uh, internet television network, BIUTV. We're specializing in business, shows about business, intellectual things that are all upscale. Shows that are about business, intellectual things that are all upscale. Ministries, um, you know, um, how-to shows, reality shows that are productive and positive, right? You got a business, you want to really, really blow up, get your own TV show. Guess what? We're going to put you on Roku, we're going we're gonna to put you on Fire TV, Amazon Fire. We're going to put you on Google TV. We're going to put you on Now TV. Come on, somebody. We're right now developing a specific session just for churches, just for ministries. Guess what I'm going to do? Put my ministry on there. True Faith Apostolic Bible Way, 911 Mall Avenue. Come on and see us. We don't beat you up with the word. We bless you with the word. Hallelujah. That was an invite. Yes, it was. Okay. We Now we partner with individuals from all different niches, all different industries, because it takes a village to raise a child, to get these things out of here. So there's only 10% of people being successful, business owners, 90% failing. Oh, no, the devil's alive. We got to break that curse, right? So we partner with other people that don't do what we do, and we don't do, and they don't do what we do. And we give each other references, and we give each other clients so we can 
mm, build a strong community, right? That's what Boss It Up is all about, reconnecting and building a strong community of business owners, entrepreneurs. So again, we can stop the curse of poverty and poverty mentality and people retiring and they can't even survive. We have membership, we have classes that show you exactly what you need to be knowing about how to be successful business owners from prioritizing the profit to five layers of conversion to convert the looky-loos that's all on your post, right, to shoppers, to shoppers. Wouldn't that be a powerful thing that to know how to do? What time to post, what to post, when to post, guess what? Oh, we can do it for you. We have social media classes to show you how to, yeah, exactly. We have branding, and I want you guys to type this, make it personal, type this. If I, whatever your name is, I'm gonna say Shantae, if, if Shantae is not a brand, who will buy Shantae? Baby, it's not about your product, your service. Yes, they got to do what they say they're going to do. But what keep people stuck in sticking and staying and not going somewhere else with another product or service is you, how you treat them, how they love you, how they respect you. You under promise and over deliver. So we show you how to forensically brand. We don't have that little, oh, it's just about colors and logo. No, how to forensically brand, okay? So with that said, then we then you see the other, these are the, the problems that people have and we solve the problems, right? Then we have automation packages. We put together things again so you can live that 90-10 lifestyle to be live, live what? To work what? Smart and not hard, right? Right, so you can, again, only have to market 10% of the time, make money while you sleep, we got the packages, the sales funnels, the email drip campaigns, the text message campaign, whatever you need, we got you. And now woo, we have a niche specific lead program. When I say, you tell me what's, what, what industry you in, and I'm gonna give you their real name, their real number, their real email, come on now. I'm gonna give you a psychological profile, how to close them, what to say first, what to say second, what to say third, real people, right? You just tell me what you need or or guess what? I can set you up with your own account and you can have unlimited leads for any industry. You can sell the leads if you want to. I got you. There is nothing like who I partner with with NowSite. It's called NowSite Sales, uh, Sales Flow. OMG, stick around, around 8.30 or 9 o'clock, I'm going to be doing a live and I'll ding you in. Just listen for the dings explaining this um, new uh, platform that we have partnered with. I was on the line with the owner on a live uh, Zoom the other day. He was impressed with being on the line with Shante Boston of Kelly. I'm impressed with being on the line with, with Justin. Um, I want to say Bill Bobo is his, his last name. Multi, multi-billionaire. Absolutely remember. He was impressed by being on here with me. And I'm like, what? Sometimes we don't even realize who we are to somebody else that we think is bigger than us. Give us and call us a goat, a greatest of all times. I was like, what? Thank you, Jesus. There you go. All right. And then we have youth programs. We have affiliate programs. I share the wealth. You need some extra money? Go to my site. Click on affiliate program. Create your free, free, free link. I want to pay you. Listen, I want to pay you so you can bless other people. I want to pay you and train you how to blow up in your own business for free as an affiliate. Did I, did I just say that? Yes, I did. I want to pay you as an affiliate, right? When someone purchases something, guess what? You get paid for it. You can put it towards a program. You can put it towards a class, or you can keep it. Go shopping. Buy your grandbaby something. Invest in your own business. I, I have to give back like this. This is what, oh God, saved my life to do. I have to, okay? And I want to. And it blesses me and my husband tremendously. We're never hungry. We always have customers. We're happy. We're peaceful. It's nothing like it. Amen and amen, okay? I'm gonna play this little quick short video. It's about a minute and a half long. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go get my, while the video is playing, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can find my food for thought book. If not, then we're gonna jump right into <laughs> Anjanique. I'm gonna bring her on and she has, I believe she has a video she wants to show you, a guest, a singer, and then she's gonna bring you the word, okay? Thank you so much. I wanna make sure your beautiful souls can hear. So let me make sure that the audio is on. Yes, it is. There we go. 
and let's get going. I just had to get on here real quick just to let you know about this very exciting journey I'm about to take with Miss Shantae Amber Kelly. Boss it up, dot biz, baby. <laughs> Boss It Up has been an amazing experience. There's so much uh, value that she gives. 30 years in the business. She has some amazing information about attraction marketing and just getting your business out there. She has information and things that you need that will make your business grow. I've learned how to be organized so I can prioritize and monetize. My name is Shantae Amber Kelly. I educate business owners on how to increase their bottom line. All right, all right, all right. Amen, amen, amen. We are here to help you make your business grow. Okay, for some reason, I can't find my food for thought book. It's probably in my hubby's car and he's doing the work. So I'm going to turn it over to... Ajani Gibson, so she can do her um, her thing on a video or a poem, whatever she wants to do. Then I'm going to actually tell her to turn it back over to me so I can read her bio, and then she's going to bring your word. Is that okay, Ajani? Praise God. Yes, it is. Thank you, Evangelist Kelly. You're welcome. So tonight... I will be showing you a special music performance recording by gospel singer Leandria Johnson. I'm going to share my screen. If somebody wanted to do an investigation into Christianity, where would you seen before? And we love her here at Fellowship. We celebrate her, honor her, pray for her, cover her in Jesus' name. Come on, y'all help me welcome her back to the ship. Leandria Johnson! Pastor Jenkins, Lady Jenkins, Pastor Sharp, Lady Sharp, and to everyone that is here tonight. And if God has been anything good to you, or if he's been anything to you, why don't you just scream at your neighbor and say, he's been mighty, 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 mighty. mighty. And if you don't have anything to thank him for, I can tell you, I thank him for life. His mercy and his grace. And I'm so honored and so glad to be here tonight. And I love you so much. And I love you so much. And it's good to be at a place where you never would imagine that you would be after being in the valley. Redemption exists. And in this, I will just say this. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. All right, all right. Oh, what a fall, a taste of glory divine. salvation I've been 
never would have made it. I never could have made it past the star without him. I want to change it up. I lost it all. But now I see he was there for me and I never would have made it. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. I never could have made it without Him. I could have lost my mind. I did. But now I see He was there for me. And I can say, I'm strong.
evening medication. It's 8 p.m. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for the love of God. Hallelujah. Give him some great. Give him some praise. Give him some glory. He deserves it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That just warmed my heart. I don't know about y'all, but that just warmed my heart heart. Hallelujah. Awesome. Well, amen, amen, and praise God again if you're just tuning in. This is Evangelist Shante Kelly, CEO um, and a founder and boss it up, Attraction Marketing Business Automation Solutions, faith-based entrepreneurial elevation platform where we educate business owners on how to increase their bottom line all over the world through attraction marketing, through forensic branding, through mindset training, um, leadership training, and automation. So you can live that 90-10 lifestyle. We're at www.bossitup.biz. Again, shout out to the Holy Spirit. Shout out to my husband, who's the president of the company. He's at, at his job, working hard for his family, making sure we have. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. Love you, Elder Kelly. You are my hero. I love you. I love you. I love you. So Without any further ado for me, let me read to you about this amazing, amazing young lady that is coming to you today to give you what God has given her. I ask you to turn off your cell phones, tell folks to leave you alone. You do not want to miss this. She's only 23 years old. Come, you, you, come on, somebody. Come on now. She decided early to give her life to Christ and to make sure that she going to be in that number hallelujah when he cracked that sky back open i know that's right she want to make sure that she is standing in the right place and the right places with jesus so evangelist anjani gibson i'm gonna read a little bit about her grand rising this is her words grand rising boss queens and kings yes you know that we are kings and queens right i am kingdom servant leader i am a kingdom servant leader and evangelist anjani gibson from albany new york she says she's 23 years old. A little bit about me. I love serving humanity, she says. I've been an act, excuse me, an activities aide with a with the Catholic Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. She loves taking care of people, right? She took care of me. She gave me a program to help healing me holistically, right? All kind of um, meditations and everything. Here in upstate New York, for a little, let me move my little bar so I can read it, over two years. And all thanks to God for me taking Evangelist Kelly's break free from a poverty mindset training. Yeah, y'all got to take that one. That one broke a lot of change, right? It broke change with me when I was creating it. Come on, somebody. I am now going to be a seven-figure GOPX millionaire. Say it again. Claim it like it is. Me and my husband are already there. We get there. We cashing in or what January. I'm telling you, we've been telling people about this. They don't want to listen, but that's okay. I just need when we get our plane. <laughs> when we travel, when we say see us on the on, on Facebook lives on the yacht, you know, they can't get mad at us because we told them, right? I am also the co-host, along with Evangelist Kelly, for Boss It Up's Entrepreneur Elevation Bible class, Bible study class for entrepreneurs and business owners to bless all with the word of God, to become highly successful, not basic, uh-uh, no basic here, but highly successful at conducting business online. Recently, I just added a new project that I am working on. I plan on coming out with my first poetry book. She is amazing at poetry before this year ends about, to, about how to heal during and after trauma. Oh, that may sound like some who we talking to. You better get with her before and after trauma. It is an absolute pleasure to be on here as the guest teacher for this Bible study class. I am truly humbled and honored to be sharing with you what God has in store for you. As I spread this message, many blessings of love, light, abundance to you. Enjoy the class. Now, without any further ado from me, I am humbled and honored to bring my protege, my amazing woman of God, who I love with all of my being. I call her my own little personal rainbow. She's absolutely amazing. Don't take my word from it. Listen to the God in her. Without any further ado from me, I produce you, 
and present to you evangelist Anjanique Gibson. You got the floor, baby. It's all yours. Let's greet her with an amen. Thank you, Evangelist Kelly. <laughs> so today's topic that we are going to go over is called God Over Money. If you can type this in the chat, I'm going to be going over Philippians 4.19. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Our Father God will meet all of our needs so that we can give his name the glory. His glorious riches, not the world's riches. Can I get an amen? We do not get our needs from this world that we live in. We are blessed to have our needs met from God. God loves us so much. Our focus must be to follow God. Because we cannot put our hope in a world that encourages the consistency of sin. This world doesn't know what sin is because some people living in this world do not read and study the word of God. But they do know that there are many things that are not righteous to partake in. With this being said, it is paramount for our business success to depend on the Lord, not this world. Now we're going to be going over 1 Timothy 6.10. If someone can type this in the chat box, I'm going over 1 Timothy 6.10. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. This scripture is speaking the truth. The love of money is the root of all evil, but to break it down even more, it's the love of money that hinders our ability to keep being wealthy. But it's what we do with the money that we receive that makes the big difference. We should strive to be a blessing if one of our brothers or sisters need help to pay some bills and we have the money to bless them with what they need, we need to be our brother's keeper or sister's keeper and give them a helping hand. Because when we are struggling for help or enduring troubling times, God always provides us with what we need. He uses people to be a blessing to us so that we don't have to suffer because of being without. Most people know what it's like to go through challenging times, especially in today's economy. There are so many people in America and across the globe who are trying to make ends meet and who are barely making it through. It is not good to be eager for money but it's good to make sure that you're not wavering in your faith because God is mighty and can change our situations with one blink of an eye. My words of encouragement for you is if you have the money that your brother or sister needs to make sure that their kids are fed, help them because whatever you give will come back to you. Now we're going to be going over Acts 20, 35. If someone can type this in the chat box, we are going over Acts 20, 35. And everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. 
living paycheck to paycheck is no fun, especially when you are stagnant in phase one, not having enough. God desires for us to live in abundance and be a wealth manager. He wants us to be the head and not the tail. I want you all to think about being a master trader in the markets and imagine that you're trading gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. Trading is a simple strategy to learn and master, but it is not easy. That's why it's so important to have faith in God because he can direct our path. If you are not bossed up in spiritual mindset development, there's a coach for you that would be willing to help you. If you're not bossed up in emotional stability, there's a program, coach, or training out there for you. The message that I want you to take away is that you should learn to master a skill that will help you to be a blessing for the rest of your life. Because if you want to be a financial philanthropist and be a lender, then you will have to boss up in areas that will make you feel uncomfortable, areas that will have you getting out of your comfort zone. Because when you stay in your comfort zone, you are planning to fail. So make sure to make a plan that speaks and that will manifest success. Boss up to be a blessing and do whatever needs to be done to stay bossed up, amen? The next scripture we will be going over is Proverbs, Proverbs 22, seven. Type this in the chat box. We're going over Proverbs 22, seven. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender. This scripture right here speaks the truth heavily in today's economy. There is many people that have to borrow from financial institutions because they don't have enough to support their desires or dreams. When you are planning to build credit, you should aim to have the finances needed to stay debt free. When you're debt free, you can put that extra money to something else of good use. Amen. This is why I'm going to keep mentioning the value of being a master trader. This skill set gives you the ability to multiply your money. It's the skill set of compound interest. Learn and master the skill set of being your own bank and be a blessing to your brothers and sisters by lending. Next, we're going to be going over Proverbs 13, 11. Please type this in the chat box. We're going over Proverbs 13, 11. Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. This is what the power of multiplying your money does. Whoever gathers money and puts it back in their trading account as a reinvestment continues to earn compound interest to make their money grow. Do not make money by selling things the illegal way. Make money in a trustworthy way, the godly way, so you can maintain and manage wealth in abundant ways. Matthew 19, 26 says, with God, all things are possible. This scripture is true, but it's your faith in him that matters the most because faith can move mountains. All right, we're going to be going over Hebrews 13, 5. Please type this in the chat box. We are going over Hebrews 13, 5. Keep your, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Never love having money 
to buy materialistic things. Love money because it's a tool to help you bless the many. Love money because you know that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Love money because of the many wonderful things that you can do with it, such as helping your mom get her own fitness studio or taking your family on a luxurious vacation to cherish and treasure the meaning of special family memories. Time, you don't get back. So make the most of your time. Use your time wisely and learn a skill or strategy that will help you, that will have you content with God. Because when God is in the mix of your dreams and desires to be a blessing to others, you are unstoppable. Just don't let fear or anxiety take you off the course that will kill your dreams. Because a dream that is killed is a dream that will fester like a bulk of rotten eggs in a landfill. Amen. Please type this in the chat box. We are going over 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19. We are going over 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. It is paramount that we educate and encourage our brothers and sisters who are financially rich to continue to put their hope in God, not wealth. Managing and maintaining wealth is uncertain because it's our Father God who strongly provides us with our wants and heart desires. God will raise our standard of living as we raise our standard of giving. Oh, come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? Can I get someone to type this in the chats? God will raise our standard of living as we raise our standard of giving. Hallelujah. Type an amen in the chats. Hallelujah. <laughs> you better preach. <laughs> Educate and encourage <laughs> others to do good with money and to do good deeds, like giving a check of $10,000 to a charitable foundation or a non-for-profit organization. God blesses those who have a generous heart and are willing to share their blessings because what you sow, you will reap. The things that we think we own, like our homes, clothes, flat screen TVs, or lavish sets of jewelry, they are not ours. When we repent of our sins, die and go to heaven to be with our father God, that is where our forever home is, where we have treasures and rewards waiting for us. Take a breath. Good job. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, the Holy Ghost is making you hot, huh? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! 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 Uh-uh, you're not done. You ain't done. <laughs> Keep on going, girl. Keep on going. I am done. <laughs> amen. Amen. God amen. Let's put our hands together for this humble, on fire servant of God. Oh, well dude, done. Dude, well dude. done. Oh. <laughs> And when I met her, she was she was right on that 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 she was kind of straddling the fence. I know I want to know God, but I just you know, and she stuck around me and stuck around me, and she caught the vapors, girl. Amen. Come on. She caught them Holy Ghost vapors, <laughs> and next thing you know, she caught. She said, "I'm getting baptized in the name of Jesus." Hallelujah. So I said, Thank That's you, what Jesus. I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Thank you, then Jesus. Then she said, "I'm getting ready to go online and get my license to be a minister, so I can preach that word." All right. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. This Thank is you, what Lord. it's all about. 
I thank, thank God for using me. I thank him for using me to encourage our millennials, our young people, because they are our future and they need Jesus. Ooh, do they, and need, they need leaders Jesus with the Amen. way this world is and the an example. She Amen. saved. Come on, somebody. Some of us got to stay saved. She saved. We saved. Oh, I just Amen. thank God. I just love hey, the Lord. Man. My Man. pastor is on here, Lisa. Man. She says all the time, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love to hear my first lady give her testimony because she give me goosebumps because I know where she coming from. I, I went through some of the trauma that she went through and I know couldn't we tried all kinds of stuff, but couldn't nothing save us like Jesus. Couldn't nothing help us do the things that we doing with ailments that we have that should have us crippled somewhere, but we out here still living and making money and loving on people. Oh, come on somebody hallelujah oh i'm fired up tonight i don't know about y'all but again let's give Ange evangelist Ange another round of applause hallelujah 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 thank you, jesus, for this humble servant thank you jesus yes 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 Father God, I just thank you right now in the name of mighty name of Jesus for using us the way you are. Entrepreneurs, hallelujah. Entrepreneurs, we have a special anointing on our lives. Most people just want a nine to five, a retire, or wait on the government check. But we differ. We that 3% out there that says, uh-uh, the devil is a liar. God said that I'm the head and not the tail. <laughs> God said, I'm the lender and not the ball. God said, I'll be unapologetically a millionaire. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just thank God. Thank God. I thank him for humility. I thank him for uh, the, the, the gratitude that I have today. I thank him for everything that he's doing in the life of those who believe. Don't y'all give up on y'all business. Don't y'all give up. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. I don't care if your mama ain't shopping with you. I don't care if your kids don't want to buy from you. I don't care if people telling you, girl, you better go get a job. I don't care what they saying. You keep on. You stay prayed up and let God show you what your industry should be so you're not all over the place. God is a God of order and he wants you to be in order not nine million businesses but the one that he ordained you to do and it's not you not even doing a job and watch the money come and just stay prayed up and make sure that you understand that God said walk up right he didn't say be perfect come on now when God said understand what God said be you perfect for I am perfect that don't mean that you know he know you're not gonna make mistakes he said be perfect in your love for me when you're perfect in your love for God, he'll prune the rest of it. It's a process. It's a process that we all go through. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Shouldn't nobody be judging nobody. Shouldn't nobody be making nobody feel bad because they want to be a millionaire. They want to use to encourage them. If you're happy making $1,000 a month, God bless you. Then there you go. But don't get mad at us because we want to make a million dollars a month because we want to bless the kingdom. And, and maybe $1,000 ain't going to do it. We need more money to be able to bless the kingdom. This is what this is about. God be for money. God be for money. Understand that. We got to walk up right in front of God and the money will come in your business. Stay prayed up. Stay fasted up. Don't listen to the naysayers. Remove the toxic people, places, and things from your life and understand who you are and understand whose you are. How can we say we, we, we serve a God that, that owns all the hills and all the cattle and we can do all things to Christ to strengthen us. But here we are, 40, 50, 60 years old, struggling. We ain't got enough money. We got to work two or three jobs until we drop dead. Are you serious right now? Most of us at that age, at 50, 60, 70 years old, we need to be on the beach somewhere chilling. with are playing with our grandkids. Not out here struggling. Not out here still working and grinding. That's not the will of God. I don't care what nobody say. So if you got it in you to be an entrepreneur, you got it in you to be a business owner, pray and fast and find out exactly what you should be doing. It may not be that maybe you're not successful because you're not, you're not prayed up and God didn't show you that. He didn't tell you to do that, right? My bishop tells me all the time, don't you go in front of God. Don't you walk in front of God. That's the last thing you want to do. Come on now, because don't nobody know you like Jesus. He know every hair on your head. He know every lie. He know every, uh, uh, your heart. God judges your heart, right? So again, we need to know who we are and who we belong to. I leave everybody with this and I'm gonna turn it back over to Evangelist so she can um, 
Uh, no, she don't have that flyer to that because the, this this weekend coming up, we're going to um, not have Boston Bible class this Sunday coming up. This is my husband's birthday <laughs> weekend. So I want to take him out of Trina for the weekend. Hey, Amen, my baby. I got a bunch of surprises for him. It's going to blow his mind. And you're going to be like, oh, I love you, Shante. I already know. Anyway, a oh, babe, you know, he called me babe. You know, okay, babe. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> I'm excited about that. Oh, so um, when we coming back the following week, so put it on your calendar. Not this Sunday coming up, but the following Sunday. August 7th. We'll be back right? August 7th. August the 7th. There you go. Put it on your calendar. August the 7th. August the 7th. There you go. And Elder Kelly will be preaching. My husband will be preaching and teaching that day. So you definitely will. I know. <laughs> we love it. We love it when my boy has come on. So again, I want to do a round table really quickly. And then we're going to, um, we're going to pray out and we're going to let, so, uh, uh, uh Co-Pastor Lisa Ford, if you can come forth and tell us what did you get out of the sermon today? Oh, I received a whole lot. I really appreciated the sound that went forward. It really edified my soul. And I just love the encouragement that you gave when you said that God is the head of everything. He's first and foremost, and then our business. Because if we keep him in front of everything we do, we know that a blessing will come out of it because we're not operating in ourselves, but we operating out of the will of God and what we believe he would do for us. He said he would withhold no good thing from us if we keep our mind stayed on him. So if we keep in our mind stayed on him as we move forward and we prosper in whatever way we desire to, we trust in God at the same time to do what he said, that he would withhold no good thing from us if we keep our mind stayed on him. Our mind is everything that we involve ourselves with on a daily basis. So I trust God for everything. And like Evangelist Kelly said, I love him, love him, love him because he has truly been great to us. Hey, man, I love you, cuz. I love you, my, my first lady, my pastor. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to True Faith Apostolic Bible Way Church when I was only about, I want to say, not even a year clean from the streets and cocaine addiction and different things like that. And I walked through the doors as a guest and didn't look back and been there and that was going on about, I wanna say 13 years. In October, it'll be 13 years that I've been at this ministry. I am so excited and humbled. Thank you so much for coming aboard and um, kiss Bishop for me, amen. Um, Evangelist Deborah, Evangelist Deborah, if you can unmute yourself and come forward and tell us what did, how did God speak to your heart tonight, sister? Amen, but first of all, I have to give honor to God who's the head of my life and I bring you greetings from King of Glory, uh, Al Apostolic Ministries in the name of Jesus. I just, first of all, to, it makes my heart glad to see a young woman. Amen. Don't have to go through all the stuff we went through. Amen. She's Woo. getting saved, hallelujah, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. If you don't have it yet, it's coming. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that on this day. Amen. That you don't have to bump your head. We've done all the bumping of the heads you need to do, that you stay right up under the elders so they can teach you. But I will, as she was talking, I was looking, I wrote, I wrote all your scriptures down, baby, all your scriptures down. I, like, I got to get these and go back because you said it distinctly and simply, but you said a lot. Amen. So I have to delve into these things because the, the men of the Bible were wealthy. Lydia was wealthy. Dorcas had money. Amen. But they put it towards the purpose of the kingdom and only what we do for Christ shall last. And if we take Amen. care of his business, what does the Amen. word say? He'll surely take care of us. I Amen. enjoyed you. I look forward to seeing you grow in the ministry. And I'm going to delve into these scriptures because Lord knows I need it. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, Hey, I've been through a lot. Amen. And when uh, my friend and, and my sister called me, I was I had been in the house. I was like, I got to jump on the Zoom. Then I got this call. And I was like, Lord have mercy. She called right on time. I was like, let me do this because we have to be also, we have to be mindful of what we do and how we do it. Amen. And purposeful. 
with the purpose I'm going to be on this Zoom, that I'm going to do these things, and I'm going to be within the will of God. So just pray my strength in the Lord, and I enjoyed you, and I'm going to delve into your scriptures because you definitely uh, made my heart. I had to come off. You see, I had to take myself off screen when she was singing. I had started to cry, and I was singing the songs with her. I was like, praise God, praise God for the move of God. Amen. And I yield the floor. <laughs> We love you, sister. We love you. We love you. We love you. And I love you more. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Okay, we have another. We have one more last person that's on the road. Oh, relevant. I'm sorry. And I give honor to, uh, I didn't give, I'm so excited. I give honor to uh, the pastor, <laughs> Pastor Ford. And pastor I give Ford. honor to uh, Minister Evangelist All Around Superwoman, Shante <laughs> Kelly. Amen. Double honor given back to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. I love my life. I love my, thank you, God, for saving me. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for saving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Rebel, four, Rebel 5, who's on the Rebel 5? Can you unmute yourself and tell us what was your takeaway today, if you can? Can you unmute yourself? If not, let me see if I can unmute you. Okay, I'm asking you to unmute right now. Person on the Rebel 5 going once. Uh, going twice. twice. All right, we gone. Okay, that's okay. No problem. You may can unmute yourself. I know God spoke to your heart today. So everybody that joined us online, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me put the view back. You can see that they're in a gallery view. There we go. Awesome. And close, shut this down. Okay, we got that. So again, Bossed Up Bible Class every Sunday, except for this Sunday coming up. We're coming back when, Anjani? Evangelist Anjani? August the what? August 7th. August the 7th, when my Boaz will be teaching us um, what God gives him. Um, hope I'll have my food for thought book. <laughs> then as well, I'll make sure I have it. And right, we also have Evangelist Deborah that's going to be um, coming on and being a guest as well, bringing us a word as well. What is that date, Evangelist, that you're coming well, on? Oh, amen. Hey, be ye ready oh. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> In season and out of season. Was. I didn't you know I was on the program. You can preach after my husband. So look at your calendar. Oh, it's God. available the Sunday after the seventh. Because okay. we don't have it. We don't have anybody scheduled there, right, Anjani? The Sunday after, but then there you go. I don't okay. know why God told me to do that. But amen, because you know this is my year to preach. Amen. 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 And God knows I, I love him. And I, I, I love I, I, I love uh amen. Evangelist Kelly, Evangelist amen. Minister amen. Kelly, <laughs> Chaplain Kelly, all the hats that she, that she wears because you know when you leave the 99 and you'll go get the one. Because even when I'm not, she's been sending me encouragement things. It's like, come on, sis, come on, sis. I was like, you know what? I got to get up and do this thing. Because we have not, because we ask not. And our asking not, we don't follow through. The blessing is there. We just got to walk through the door. Amen. 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 I you sent you a picture of my yacht. You got your shoes on now. You walking. You can't. Hey, hallelujah. Walk in. God got Amen. you. God got you. Amen. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to ask Pastor Ford um, if she can come and pray us out. That would be a blessing, and we're going to let everybody go. Pastor Ford, if you could pray us out. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, thanking and praising you for yet yes. another opportunity, Lord, yes. to be back on the Boss It Up Ministries with Evangelist Michael and Shante Kelly. Yes. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you increase, Lord, and in them, Lord, that they may be everything that you are calling them to be, Lord, as they bring forth your word, your skill, your technique, your knowledge that you have provided for them to instruct your people, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this time and this opportunity that we had to come on their show and be a part, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you continue, Lord, to bless everyone that was on this Zoom call on tonight, Lord. Bless them, Lord, in a way that you no, they need to be blessed, Lord. You know all things, Lord. Nothing is hidden from your presence. So we ask, Lord, that you reach out, you touch your people, Lord. Touch them, Lord, in a mighty way, Lord, that they can come off this Zoom and be blessed, Lord, with the skills and abilities that were Amen. rendered on tonight. Amen. These things we ask in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen and amen. 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 All right. Amen. Anjanique, do you have any final words? 
Oh, I wanted to say thank you, ladies, for joining us for our Boss It Up Bible class tonight. And um, I really um, want to thank God for blessing me um, to bless you with, with this message for tonight. Amen. I will be calling you shortly. Beautiful so job. So we Your mommy's happy. happy. Look at her. She just grinning. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my Thank baby, you. girl. That's my baby. I heard somebody over that one right amen. there. Amen. Wonderful. Amen, amen, wonderful. Amen, amen. Okay. God is good all the time. Again, this is every Sunday night, except for this Sunday coming up, coming back August the 7th. If you were not satisfied with your business, with yourself, you want to boss up, you want to, you want to get uh, customers running after you instead of you running after them. You want to build so you can have a life and live that new bossed up 90, 10 lifestyle where you're only marketing 10% of the time right. and, and living 90%. I, I asked God to help me live before I had that triple bypass surgery, laying up for six days with a pump, keeping me alive. I didn't ask for money. I didn't ask for power. I didn't ask for, I asked, I asked for time. Mm. I was all in my Hezekiah prayers, honey. Every all right. Day, all in the Hezekiah prayers. It's like I just felt his spirit all over me. Just ask for some more time. And when you get it, you better do what God told you to do. And he said, you get out there and you preach and you help people to, to own their own. I don't care how old they are, what they're going through, what their past was. You help them own their own. You help them mm. find their passion. And yes. God said, I will give them the provision. You help them find their passion and I'll give them the provision. And I said, okay, God, you let me, when I woke up my eyes and I saw my husband and I said, okay, I made it through the surgery. Now I know what I got to do. And I've been doing it ever since. And God is healing me miraculously. It's a blessing. I love everyone. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Thank you for using us. Again, contact us at www.bossitup.biz. Or you can text me at 216-714-2784. Again, 216-714-2784. And all you got to do is give me your name and say, boss me up. That's all you got to do. And I got you. And we're interested. International. We are here with over 7,000 business owners. We done bossed up over the years. The company has mm -hmm. almost hit a million dollars over the years together combined. I've never seen anything like this. We had a lot of bills we had to pay off and different things like that. But thank God we had it. Now the money is starting to be in the positive now. All it's right. coming in now. <laughs> Amen. So like, yeah, we made a lot of money, but we had to pay bills, right? So, hey, hey, man, hey, man, we just you were faithful. That. So now things are now being in the red. I mean, being in the black instead of the red. God is good. God bless you. I love y'all. I love y'all. This is Mr. Shantae Amber Kelly, Evangelist Kelly, your OG boss and a queen, national evangelist at I, a True Faith Apostolic Bible Way Church at 911 Mart Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. And I would never, ever, ever look down on any of you, any of you, especially not on purpose. Unless I'm picking you up, do it with me, everybody. Picking you up, praying you up, and, and bossing, bossing you. you up. All Stick right. with Boss It Up Ministry. Stick with Boss It Up Entrepreneur <laughs> Elevation Platform. We got you. And you're not going to just go to the top. Oh, no, 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 baby. You're going to go over the top. Amen. Get delivered. Get saved. All that grace stuff. Throw the blood of Jesus on it. Ah, come on, somebody. That's a shot right there. And you're going to take a lot of people with you because God demands us to go out to the highways and the byways and bring them Amen. in. I love you all and I mean it. Love God you bless all. you. See you in two God weeks. God bless you. God Lots bless you. I'll see you sooner than that, but God bless you. Amen. Amen. What's up? What's up? God bless. <laughs> All right. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.